In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some upper frequency content to the subtrap bass preset using a sample that comes in Equator 2. Right now, I've just got the subtrap bass preset, and this is what it sounds like. Essentially, it's a wavetable running a clean sine wave with just a little bit of control using the macros here about the length of the tail. And the faded control here will actually remove the punchy transient of the sub itself to give it more of a smooth sub feeling. But I'm going to keep it in there for now. One thing that I like to do is actually add the double bass sample to the sine wave, which is going to give me a sort of acoustic timbre in the upper frequency content of the patch. So the first thing I need to do is actually come in here to routing because I want, instead of serial in terms of filter configuration, I want to do parallel. And if I come over here and now activate this other engine, I'm going to pull down its send to filter one. And for the first engine where the sine wave is, I'm going to pull down its send to filter two. So now filter two will be dedicated just to this side or this engine and filter one will be dedicated to this. Now this preset is already set up just fine for the wavetable engine. And all we need to do is focus on this other engine over here. So what I'm gonna do is come in and choose sampler. And you can see here, this is the sample library. You can also drag and drop your own samples, but there's a really nice double bass sample inside of here. And there's a few to choose from, but I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the double bass, double click it. And if I solo this, it's actually getting a little bit of a cut here. And that's what it sounds like naturally. What I'm gonna do is actually come in here and change this to a high pass filter and then pull it down somewhere around 100 hertz. So I'm gonna be removing the subby bit from this sample because the sub of the full patch is gonna be coming from the wavetable sine wave. And if I unsolo it and actually bring up the volume a little bit, You see how much character that's adding? And because of the way we have the filtering going on, we're not getting any frequency collisions and the patch is still super clean, but now we have a super subby double bass for our trap music or whatever kind of bass music that you're working on. So if you listen to it in the context of our track, it's just adding a bunch more character to the sub trap bass preset.